an 18th century house full of history. Their past about to collide with our future. Come with us as we reach out to Voices from Beyond. Hello and welcome back to Voices from Beyond. My name is Marie and this is my channel. Tonight I'm going to see if I can uh, get in touch with Aileen Warnos. Warnos. I apologise if I'm not pronouncing that right. Pronunciation is not my thing. Um, she is a serial killer um, who was executed in 2002. What I'm going to do, Warnos is a very interesting subject matter for me um, because she had a very, very bad upbringing now i'm not saying that everybody has a bad upbringing becomes a serial killer but i do think that her life could have been very different if she'd got a lot more help from the social system in america i don't profess to know how that works in america i don't know i'm english i'm as english as they come as you can probably tell from my accent because i basically sound like i should be an emmerdale so i am calling out to any spirits in this area who would like to come forward and use the energy from this radio and the energy from myself I'm calling upon my spirit guide to come down with the spirit of Eileen in love and light um, please respect the boundaries that I've set before I started this reading um, and let's get into this I'm calling out to the spirit of Eileen can you come through to me Eileen and please speak to me there how are you of course you don't have to speak to me but I would be very much happy if you did very much happy that's good English I'll be very happy if you did now you're in spirit are you finally happy can you tell me the real reason why you killed them men more dramatic Was it truly self-defence? Right. So the first man was named Richard. Ran to carry out. Extra. Now, what did Richard do to you? Eileen, what did Richard do to you? Crane. Were you scared? Cheat. It got David, who had been shot six times. Razor. Okay, and then there was Charles. He was shot nine times. It's of his. And then there was Troy. He had been shot twice. He had been shot twice. Quite a lot of lip syncing. And then there was Charles. Yes, you can. And he had been shot. Charles had been shot seven times. Marcus. And then there was Walter. Four times. Um, so don't think of that. Deal. How did you feel when Tyra, Tyra, I'm sorry if I'm saying an arm, ma'am, Tyra decided to plead deal against you? State it. When you were executed by injection, stand. was it a relief? Or did you hate the fact that all those people were watching you? But then your story did change, so... What do you think about the victims now? Freedom. And were there any more that the police just didn't find? The evening. Not going to check. Co. Six, six. Oh. Is there any? I, I have a huge amount of sympathy for the gen for the men that were killed. 
victims out. But I don't think in this case they were the only victims. The next day. And I think if you'd have got better help, okay. none of this would have happened. And I'm sorry about that, Eileen. I'm genuine, genuinely, I'm sorry. Well, you a person. I'm going to close the session down now. Thank you very much. So, once again, I'm not sure whether we received anything from Eileen or anybody else. I'll go back and review the review the sounds and see what we can get. I'm not entirely sure if the light went off with the with the bulb or anything. So, and if I um, missed anything, let me know. And I've also just noticed a candle went out over there, which is bizarre because it was a new one. So I'll have a look at that and see if I can tally that up to a question. Anyway, thank you once again for coming over to Voices from Beyond. My name is Marie and I will see you next time. Thank you.